Individual donations to charity have been falling for two years, but a new report shows that while charitable giving is down, it is certainly not out. Let's check in with Kayla Tausche for more. Hi, Kayla. Hey, Scott, the reason individual gifts have fallen is because more taxpayers are taking the higher standard deduction under the new tax law. But the federal government is suggesting the drop won't be as steep as expected. Take a look at this data. Originally, the Joint Committee on Taxation expected individual giving to causes outside education and health to hit $30 billion in 2019 before rising to $34 billion in 2022. But new data out last week raises those estimates to $33 billion and $37 billion, respectively. That's a 9 percent increase. Fidelity, which manages 200,000 donor accounts with a median value of $17,000, says the improved outlook is partly thanks to the stock market's rise. If you have a high income year, again, what you might want to do is bunch a lot of your giving for the next two, three, four years into one year, itemize that um, gift, uh, and then over time you can sustain your giving. The Chronicle for Philanthropy says the beneficiaries are higher education and the biggest, most well-known organization. But United Way says it is feeling the squeeze. The middle class donors who are impacted by this tax change, they tend to give to basic needs charities, human services charities, disaster relief charities, those sorts of charities. So the change in tax law affected middle class donors. With the tax law in effect for only two years and volatile market activity from one year to another, we won't really know the impact for a while, Morgan, and we're still waiting for a lot of that official data from the IRS. Kayla Tausche, thank you.